Hey there, today's tutorial is about how I transformed my old purse to this statement necklace. You can find all the items I used in the description box below. Let's get into it. First, detach the chain from the purse, then take some embroidery thread. It should be four times the length of the chain. Once you have your desired length, pull it out so, so that you can stretch it out to have your desired length. Then double it, keep doubling until you have your desired thickness. I doubled mine about 15 times, but you can do it however you like. And do the same to another color of your choice. I Here I used fuchsia and not the ends, leaving about a two inch tail. What you want to do next is place your threads to the left side of the chain and pass some bobby pins through it to help you weave more easily. Now you take your bobby pin and pass it through the very first hole. Pull it through from under carefully. In fact, mine almost got tangled, so just be very careful here. Pull it all the way through and take that and cross it to the left side. Take the second collar and cross it over to the right side and pass it through that same hole. That gives you your very first knot. Now straighten the chain, take the right to the left, Take the left over and under the chain. I hope you got it this time. Remember that two colors go in one chain hole to make a full knot. So it is right to left, left over and under the chain. Always straighten your chain every single time. Right to left, left over and under the chain. It is really simple. Two colors go in one hole, right to left, left over, and under the chain. So simple. So I'll take that again. Take what's on the left to the right, the right over the left, and put it under the chain. And remember that two colors go in one hole. I really hope you got it. Now just keep doing that until you get to the end of the chain. Remember, left to right, over, straighten the chain and go under the chain. Two colors go in one hole. Sorry if I'm repetitive. So when you get to the end, just knot it and snip. That's it really. It's so simple. You can find a detailed tutorial on my blog, diydose.com. To add some oomph, I simply took some charms off an old necklace and I sewed it on. For the clasp, I used some thread and I passed it through the last hole. And really, that was it. If you make this, please tag me on Instagram, DIYDose.com. I would really love to see what you create. I have other amazing videos on my channel. Please like, subscribe, and share. Till next time.